Hello everybody, this is Techno Paladin. Welcome back to Factorio, our noob to Mega Base Clindathu playthrough, where me, a total noob, who's never played Factorio before, learns to play, makes mistakes, and has some fun doing it. And in between the last episode and now, we'll see our lowly little engineer just sitting here doing nothing. But uh, what we did do was, and I'll back out here, so I don't have a way for you to zoom in here, but I, I changed my wall design a little bit, completed uh, this whole segment here, so it's at least got the wall built. Uh, we don't necessarily have all the, oh, new biter nest showed up. Lovely. Uh, we cleared out some of the biter nests around here. We're going to have to get to this coal here at some point, so we're going to kind of go up here and then block these off here shortly because we need that coal. And uh, then we're going to slowly start expanding out this way once we get some of this coal and other stuff uh, being produced because we're going to start setting up a, a flame turret defense and some other things. Uh, but we got, I did some testing with my trains and I actually got some trains set up and I got a combinator. I was messing with this combinator. It took me forever to kind of muck around with this thing to get it to do what I want to set the train stops. I was uh, reading through the guides and, and I do have some of my signals all messed up as you can see here. This train shouldn't be stuck here. Um, I did kind of fix it in this segment here, um, but I left it so that way I can fix it here on stream coming up. And you can see here I got uh, the train here. I also got a combinator set up here. Uh, so that way it can set how many trains we get coming in. Uh, I have it set to a max of two. And I removed the stop on this side. And I'm, I think I'm going to add it down here. But the first thing we're going to do uh, after we get going is... Well, let me come back down here. So one of the problems that we have is that we are getting more biters coming this way. And I did clear out a good bit of our nests that were kind of in range of the pollution. Um, these ones have respawned in, um, or at least these two here have. Uh, this guy here, I was going to go start taking out when I ran out of materials. So I ran out of ammo and stuff. So I was like, eh, I'll just leave that one. This should be enough for our little flame guys here to take care of and some ammo. Uh, we got a RoboPort set up for some repairs. And then the downside is is that, I'm going to show you here, is we are running really low on production. And I, when I say low, I mean low. And you can see how slow everything is. And it's because our copper is crap down here. So we have a little bit that's stacked up from some usage, but... Uh, and... You know, it's just stuff where we're not using it fast enough that we have a little bit. But the main thing is, is that, well, if you see here, that's all the copper production that we have left in our starter base. This is it. Um, so we're down to, you know, a couple hundred units, uh, a couple thousand total. But, you know, not, not really a whole lot to keep this whole thing going. And I did set it to prioritize to the right over here. So that way it will try to keep this ammo circuit running um, but eventually all this is going to end up shutting down because it just won't be able to make anything anymore uh, so we're gonna kinda leave it alone as it is it's the starter base for, I'll try to deal with it but we're gonna have to start getting some ammo production and other things um, so our, our second little mess of fun over here we've added a few more things here I added some flamer turrets being manufactured and some pumps being manufactured, some more uh, angles or underground guys. We got our trains being manufactured. So we have a few things. And even here, I mean, our rockets have stopped production because our, our green circuits just can't keep up. So that's kind of where we're, we're going to go in here. We're going to set up a bunch of stuff to where I can come back and maybe disconnect all of this here at some point. Um, I also set up some some of these guys here, which eh, looks like we've got about 4K so far, maybe. 
And our research is just slowly, slowly chunking away at some of this stuff because we just don't have, uh, like I said, we just don't have a whole lot here. So I'm just picking what we have. we got to get some better research going. So to do all that, we're going to be messing with trains and we're going to get this iron patch set up and I want to set up another station just like this uh, for iron and then we'll uh, kind of go from there so first off let me get my, tr my my vehicle out of the way and I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time here so I did go ahead and just put down all of this you know harvesting equipment here since uh, you know that's pretty standard and we've all seen that many a time and so I decided to change up my layout a little bit. So this is what I came up with. I'm using this here guy, uh, which is the substation. That's right. So I got the substation. I got some lights in here. Um, I tried to create this as a tileable item. So I'm going to actually create this as a blueprint just to have that here. And I'm going to just call it a tileable smelter. And just call it, you know, just basic. Smelter, yeah. Okay, so we're going to do that. And so this is basically 12, 6 to a side. Um, and I did set it up to where this should. When I come down here like this, connect right in. So if we come up here and we'll get a double light. I guess I could have changed how I did the lights. But yeah, maybe I'll fix that later. So there's 12, and I think I can get away with, uh, well, I don't know if I can go down up one more, really. Maybe a half of one, but I'm going to have that train stop in here, too. Uh, yeah, so let's just see here. We can do... One and two. And if I if I have to, I can always do one and two like that. So that could give us what we need volume wise. Because I did notice that up here in our copper. Well, here let me just stay close so they can start building this while I'm going over it here. So in our copper, we have a lot, and it's only really using about half. So I might actually make this a little smaller. And uh, I don't know how, how can I see? Is there, no, that doesn't, oh, no. Q. Uh, go back to the map. And let's see, what's the, uh, I've seen people do this. I don't know where, but maybe if I do that. Okay, there's 20. So there's 22 in a line. So that's that's a little much. Um, so probably about half that. So yeah, so probably about 12, 12, 12, and 12. That should, we should be able to make this work. So part of what we're gonna I'm gonna do is. Uh, I'm going to start setting up, like I said, we're going to set up this uh, train line here, and I'm going to use the blueprint for that for right now, and we'll just rotate it around. Uh, let me come in this book, though. I need to move that in there, move that right there. Uh, here's the, the new defense wall, so you can kind of see here, I set up a flamer, a turret, then we have our, I guess people online call them a dragon's teeth. Um, I just, I mean, from most war games, you can see stuff like this here, kind of like as a tank stopper. Um, and then I have a pipe connector on each side so we can keep our pipe uh, oil flow. And uh, then what I'll do is I'll probably come in and adjust with some uh, pumps every now and then, you know, for the long chains just to keep the flow up. Um, I did see a tip on that. And then I made sure this was tileable, so I removed a couple nodes here, so that way I have a spot to essentially connect it. So that worked out. I got this uh, set up. Um, I did add some some ground tile, so that way it'll be pretty. 
but I don't have a whole lot with me, so it doesn't really put any down. So part of what I'm trying to get going uh, with all of this, and uh, let me go get some stuff from my car, because obviously I don't have it all with me. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, I do have it all with me. Wait, how's my, why is my car empty? For real? What? Wait, what? Did I grab the wrong car? When I was down here? Oh, Lord. I grabbed the wrong vehicle. <laughs> well, then, that's kind of a uh, bummer. So that means I will have to uh, go get that vehicle. Well, gosh dang it. All right, well, I'll let this kind of put down. And then I can at least let it get the track, the belts. I can't wait to get these bots to go a little faster. That'd be so nice. But yeah, this construction process with the bots is, is nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I do want to start messing with the bots that we have. But yeah, we're going to... All right, well, let's just do this. And then we'll get this hooked up here. I think I have enough I can potentially get this hooked in. Uh, and then I can just remove that line right there. Just so that way it's not in the way. All my belts are with it, that other car, too. Dang it. Um, yeah, yep. Okay, so all out. Let's go. Uh, seven turrets. Jeez, man. All right, let's, uh, let's just... Oops. I did not think I was going to have to do this. I thought I got the right vehicle. So let's just head on back really quick. I'm going to go get the car and then we'll come back after this. Okay, and after all of that, we are back to hopefully try to get this thing finished off here. Uh, picked up a few more things, so hopefully we'll have some stuff that we can use to help us out here too. Once I get all these down, we'll see how that works out. So. Um, what I did is I, I brought a passive provider to, oh, dang it, I didn't, okay, hold on. I know I have some in my car. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, uh, let me get some of those. And I got a bunch of other stuff that's taking up some space because I have some plans to, to get to here. So let's get this uh, let's get this wrapped up here. And then let's uh, go boom 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 boom. And then I'm gonna use one of these to kind of do that. And then I'll just get this over here. So what I want to do is, no, that's not what, let's do a, something like this. I don't know how well this is going to work, but well, I'm sticking to it. Then we can just kind of do a something like that. And hey, we got some more laser power. So I'm trying to get some of these researches done while it's still got some oomph to my little research build over there. 
uh, before it runs out. So do what I can. All right. So I don't know if that's actually going to be enough throughput. We'll find out here shortly. Uh, and then I need to come in here. We need to get this map. So, or not the map, but uh, rail stop. Yes, this one. So I want to put it on this side, but I'm gonna have to change the uh, the rail signal and stuff. So we'll just kind of plop this down, and then I'm gonna delete that. We'll delete that. All right. Uh, oh, I don't have any <laughs> track in my inventory because it's full. Okay. Uh, let's drop uh, the flamers in here. Drop you right there. Okay. Now we can get this track built. And let's get this rail stop. Let's see, I'm going to have to pick this up here because I don't think that's going to be in the right spot either. So the rail stop will be right there. And then I need a signal. So we got our train, one car, two car, so I'll put it right there. And then I need to come up here. Who's it, what? Oh, okay, that's that normal bad spot. Okay. Let's get this signal. Basically, it goes right here. And then I need a chain signal. And this is where I was messing up. So there's a... Haha, <laughs> okay. Well, that fixed that because that put a chain signal or a main signal right there. Um... So what I did was I just, uh, what's, what's going on? Why is there no power? Um, hold on. Maybe if I do that. Uh, did I somehow screw up my coal plant? It's outputting almost nothing. Did I? Electricity, Z Zilcho. Oh man, when I was deconstructing some stuff, I apparently disconnected the power up here oh fun so we don't have enough solar and accumulators to keep this stuff going up here but that's okay for the moment we can we can deal with that but that means all my other stuff's offline too all right so but what i was getting at with the rail signals is where i was messing up and i was reading the the guide and the instructions a little bit here from the tips and stuff here so which is in here so when we get into the trains and we get rail signals and stuff so uh, you know they show this here then we come in here and what they're basically hinting at is that the signal needs to be the end of the chain so the chains go through but the signal is at the end and I had it backwards so that's where I was kind of messing up. So this is going to be an iron stop. And oh, I could do this. Yeah, yeah, OK. I want to do this. This is going to be an iron plate. And then I'm going to do a letter for pickup. And set for, now let's do uh pickup dash and then I'm gonna do a uh, the two 
So, iron plate pickup two. Yeah, yeah. There we go. I like that. That's going to be a lot easier to read than what I have over here. Because over here, I got this set to copper pickup. So we'll change that here. But uh, part of what we're going to do is I'm going to copy some of this here. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and set our train down. And then we'll set the boxes. And then we'll get everything kind of moving. I'm going to set up the combinator so we can kind of go through that. And you'll get to see kind of what we're doing here. So let's go ahead and set that up. Let's do the train number two. And I have a, a thought on what I'm going to do with these trains um, to make this a little more efficient, but it's not going to fit in this little area that I'm doing right here. So I'm just going to make do with what I got for now. And we're going to go ahead and put our six things in, and then we'll get this thing kind of moving. And I removed my boxes. So, and I need more boxes. Because I also want to get oil production going, because we have, uh, well, basically, now that I got the wall up top, I want to get oil going to it and then we're gonna have to get some ammo production which we need this iron for we need the copper for because um, we need steel and some other stuff so we're gonna get a bunch of things kind of going here shortly let's get this I'm kind of doing a split left and right um, what this does is it allows me to use a splitter to take advantage of the way that it puts things on the line so we can kind of do that and then we get both sides, right? See? And that's kind of how I have it set up up here, too. So then here, we're just going to feed these. Now I have three outputs here, so we'll, we'll take that up and then we'll bring them down. So we just need an entry line. We just need two entry lines. So we'll just come over here and just go rotate. Oh, come on. Ah, uh, dang it. Why did I do that? Alright, there we go. Uh, and this one here, I can just kind of do a... And then we can kind of do... Right, and then this guy here... It's going to be output number one. Oops, somehow I did that the wrong direction. Alright, let's get you out of there. There we go, now you're rotated the right way. Let's fix you. Okay, so hopefully that'll do that, and then I want this one to actually go there, and I'll take this one up, and I'm out. Okay, hold on. Let's get some more out of my, my vehicle. Do, 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 do. I have enough for more? Good. Slowly get this all squared away and I'm going ahead and just I'm kind of bringing this all the way up like this so that way I have room for more smelters if we find that I can support them uh, you know what let me do actually you know what no, let's just do it this way Let's go up one more, and then we can kind of do that, 
and then go there and there. So that way we kind of load balance the two sides. So in theory, that should let us get everything kind of set up. So I'm going to just drop some solid fuel in here for now. Just so that way when we do set it up, the train will run, at least, for a little bit. So now that we have that, what I need to do is I'm going to get some green wire. And we're going to con connect, well, once I get close enough, we're going to connect all of these boxes. And then now it's time to set up all the combinators. So can I step through there? OK, good. So basically, I have a, let's see, that's a arithmetic, decider, decider, and arithmetic, and a constant. OK? So what we're going to do is we have our arithmetic combinator, which is going to come out, OK? And then we have, let me get that a little closer. Arithmetic, err, arithmetic. Decider, decider, and then I can do an arithmetic and then a constant combinator. Okay, so the constant combinator, I'm just gonna say this is gonna be max. So this is gonna be the max number of trains and I want two trains at this stop. So I have two. So this is going to set out two. Now this is going to take the input of the iron plate. So we're going to come over here and set iron plate because that's the contents of our box. And we're going to divide by uh, 8K. So the, the train, because we have two cars, is going to hold 8,000. Right? And that's going to output L. So most of the trains already come with an L signal. So we're just going to use that for the train limit. Right? So when I wire this up, you'll see that it goes to, uh, when I hover over it, Q, okay. Well, I guess once I have some power to it, um, hmm, dang it, I didn't realize there's any power to, to even tell. Uh, all right, well, we are at... I don't have enough solar over here to handle this, so, well, well, we'll get that in here in a second. So this guy here is going to create a limit. Now what this next decider combinator is going to do, and I can use all green wire for this, we're all red. And we're going to take the max combinate this constant, and stick in there as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say if the limit is less than or equal to, right, and we're going to say the incoming signal of max. Then we're going to just input, output the L. So it's going to, so if this count calculates as we only have enough for one, it'll output one. And then what that does is it allows us to take this and hook it into the train. Right now, the next one is if we're over. So if we have a lot, so we can come in here to this other decider, and we're going to also take the constant and stick in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to say, okay, in this case, if L is greater than the max, then we're going to output the max, right? So that way we can only, it'll only output two. Now this is where we got to take from the right side here from this decider. We're going to go back into this arithmetic operator. And what this is going to do is we're going to say, okay, we're going to take max. And in this case, we're just going to take and multiply it by one. So this way, if we ever need to change it, we just do this. And then that way I can transform the signal back to L. And that's all this is for, is just to transform M back to L so that way we don't have to mess with these. So we can leave them as their default L. And then we come in here and we can just grab this and go into here. And then I can come into the train and then you have to make sure that you say, instead of send train, set train limit. Okay? So then it's gonna use this L. So this is gonna enable this once we get some power and we'll set the trains up with the stops and stuff. But uh, for now, I need to get my power sorted. So um, I did wanna install some more solar. So this might be a good time to do some of that. Uh, 
we can come up here and just kind of look at this and then I, I can always go and fix my my power chain <laughs> I guess you could say since I have the power turned off maybe our pollution is going to start going down a little bit I don't know how long it takes to do that though yeah maybe a little bit yeah it's kind of hard to say <laughs> all right so one of the things I was wanting to do I'm going to create a new blueprint um, but I need to build it around this train setup so because what I want to do when we get out of here is I want to set up a, a power power grid where the trains can still go through it so because like right here if you look I mean it's pretty dense and I don't even know if we can walk through it yeah we can't even walk through it so I mean if this this could kind of create a wall if it, if you will uh, for the bugs but uh, that's not kind of where we want to go so let's come in here we're gonna grab a straight track and I'm just going to uh, connect it up here so we can kind of just click on it where it's right there over the, an existing one eight turrets wow they're like really starting to bug me okay haha -ha, bug <laughs> I know I'm not funny okay so we're gonna get this down and then I want to use it and I think I'm just going to use oh I don't have any stone on me but uh, we'll, we'll get that figured out here shortly so in a segment if I if I come back here and look at this blueprint so this this has three power poles in a segment right so I'm gonna kind of build around off of this middle one now when we come in here and we're gonna and we use our substations right we can get some so I want this to be able to connect to that pole so but I also don't want the power lines to go straight up so because I want to have a path Let's see how far can we take this path away about right there uh, let's see so if I do that and then yeah, okay, it's going to take, I'm going to have to do another pole situation here. So what I want to do is I'm debating on whether or not I want to use this pole or another. Because what I want to do is I want to have a walkway in between that's big enough for my a tank or this, the vehicle here. So if I was to come up here and think of it as creating a road. This would also be good so I could, if I wanted to run belts or something. Uh, let's see, where's my, here we go. So if we have this guy here, so we can, how big of a pathway can we get? So that's not too bad. That's probably about four belts maybe. Let's just see how big that, how wide that is. Uh, so we can get one more. All right, so that's not too bad. So that's so it's six, seven. So then if I can do another seven belts on this side, this would give us a nice little road, roadway here. And then we can take uh, another substation and drop that down. And then what I want to do is be able to have uh, some. So, so we're going to take some accumulators. We're going to. I'm just going to do the same stack that we have before. So this does create kind of a impenetrable grid. I guess I could have just. Um, did I blueprint that? I did. Okay. So let's just use that. I'll make it a lot easier. So if I just do that. And make sure to hit shift if you hit that blueprint down and then it'll kill the tree. <laughs> it'll kill the tree for you. Um, let's just make sure I'm not in the way so it can do its thing. Now what I do want to do because you know we do want to make sure we have enough power uh, built up. 
is I want to have another segment that is all accumulators that we I want to have. So if we do this here. Do, 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 once you build it. If you build it, they will come. Come on. Uh, is it going to be this slow one that's going to have to go do it? There we go. Yep, sure is. All right. So, so this right here, I mean, this, I mean, obviously this is not going to give us a lot of power right now because one solar, I mean, you can see it's not a whole lot, not even enough to charge the accumulators because we don't have enough. So, but I don't want to just build a straight segment. So I kind of want if I'm going to do one of these power sections, I want to get in the same kind of distance here in between for a walkway. So we have, it says, I want to have some grids. I mean, I could do it this way, but I want to have maybe, let's say I could do two panels. Maybe two panels would be good. So if we come down here. So if I was to do, and actually I'm gonna turn the bots off for right now. So if I was to do a boom and a boom, right? And then have essentially space for a railway because that'll give us, you know, another block, right? So I should be able to fit all of this through there. So if I was to come in here and let's pick these up. So what I also want to be able to do is come into my blueprint and let's just grab this straight track and I want to be able to plop it down right, right why won't it let me plop it down right there let's pick that up and let's try this again Oh, it's, did I mess up and not make it equidistance? Because this would be... Yeah, yeah, I don't care. So there we go. So if I did that, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to remove it, but I'm just doing the ghost planner so we can kind of see. So this here would allow me to have a train come all the way through. And I guess I, I really guess I did mess that up on one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, I could have gone one more. All right, so I might need to fix that. So let's just go ahead and go boom. And uh, let's go ahead and go boom. All right, and then I'm gonna let my friendly neighborhood bots turn on so we can get those picked up. Um, and get those put down. So what I'm looking to do is in some of these segments, you know, I won't necessarily have a lot of need for like this itty bitty little section. So I'm going to fill them in with power, but I still want to be able to have stuff go through. So some sections I can build tightly, you know, dense like this, which I might just go ahead and do over this way. Um, well, actually probably closer here since we're near the cliff. Um, just to give us some leeway, get an idea of kind of how this is going to get laid out. Cause I got to start thinking, you know, planning ahead. If we want to get to a mega base, that's, uh, one entity is being damaged, huh? Uh, oh, it's just a wall. Okay. Come on. All right. Let's go get you to the other side so you can be all happy. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and just build uh, some in this segment over here because like I said, this is like up here in this corner. Actually, let's just go get my car. I mean, I was thinking about building another blueprint, but I don't think I, I might not actually need one. At least not yet, not quite yet. 
and I'm still kind of working with the cliffs. I'm not. I haven't really. I haven't even made cliff explosives yet. So uh, let's come in here and go. Um, right click, shift, regular click. Okay. So let's um. Let's make use of this little area in here. So let's kind of do a. Leave some room in case I need to get in with a vehicle. And actually, let me turn the bots off. So I can go shift click. Uh, so that's going to leave like one gap there. That's fine. Uh, let's just do it like right there. And then I think what I want to do is put down some uh, just accumulators up here. So let's get a uh, substation and go boom. And then we're going to come and grab some accumulators. And we're just going to stuff this with accumulators. We'll just do it as a all as a ghost. And since I don't have a cliff explosive, some of these will just do a deconstruct on. So that way I don't have to worry about it. Nope. I'll have to fix that one. Dang it. <laughs> Did it twice. And let's just come over here. Let's see. Can I get that one in there? I can. So what I can do is I could just go boom, boom. Boom. And there's a way I can tell it to not to ignore those, but just that way it leaves them alone. And we're going to come in here and grab some more. Just grab these last two, and boom, boom. Now I wanted these to start up here, so that way hopefully we don't get boxed in. Really? So it's just going to ignore me anyway. Okay, well, I guess that is what it is. Uh, let's see, let's grab a few grenades and do the path. <laughs> well, I'll let these get all of them down first. Uh, any of these ones that are saying it can't put down, I'm just going to tell it to ignore. At least it'll uh, get some of these. Oh, I probably should have. I need to set up something for all the wood. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is a little slow. Not too bad. Let's see if we can't come around this way. Go boom, boom, boom. If I can get a little closer, it usually makes it go a little faster. See if I can't walk through the trees. <laughs> out of this mess before I get blocked in here. 
And so I'll probably have to deconstruct like these two panels there, so that way they don't have to worry about it. And just uh, wait, how do I tell them to? Remember, there's a way to do this. There we go. So I can come up here and then do a. This way they won't bug me about it all the time. And let's come down here and get. Do, 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 do. Let's walk up here towards the top. Guess they won't put it down if I'm in the way, so I can at least be somewhat in the way. Yeah, I definitely can't wait to get these robots going a little faster. <laughs> go up not down all right well might have to drop a robo port with some stuff just to make it easier now let's see uh, man seven turrets they really are really digging in aren't they so let's do that and then see how much if that's gonna help with some of our power here Come on, get you some range on you. Yeah, definitely need more power. <laughs> more power, more power. Uh, well, I mean, not not too bad for this network. We're almost at. Uh, the necessary that's actually not bad you know what I might be able to get those to fill in from the back side it's like maybe having a row of these in between wouldn't be a bad idea I need to see you know build one of those as a blueprint because then I can kind of use this and I can almost it's almost like I have squeak through which because I, I don't have any mods on this is all vanilla so yeah I'll have to maybe put a robo port down or something to get this to do what I need but yep yep okay so let's take a look at this now let's see so we got 19 out of 19 and it's actually enough to charge the accumulator so that's not too shabby now we haven't hooked any of this stuff up yet so that's going to take a lot of extra power uh let's see where are we where are we at because we got a bunch of cliffs in here and i wasn't planning on using it so i could drop a few more uh power plants down i don't know how much more i got though I got enough for maybe two, three segments, so it's not too bad. We'll have to go fix that power line, but uh, in the meantime, we have at least a station that we can power up. Um, maybe we'll get a substation for that, because I'm trying to use more substations for things where I can. And go boom. That should give all of those guys power once I get it hooked into the grid. And then I can use one of these to do that. And then do one of those there. So now they all have power. They almost all have power. Oh, yeah, I forgot this guy's outside the power line. So we can just kind of remove those. 
Um, and I probably need to adjust the end of my uh, line here. So that way it doesn't waste any material. And then, oh, I didn't have that actually hooked into to these guys. Okay, I guess that's not close enough. All right, well, I'll stick you there. And I'll just stick you here in the corner. All right, so now we should have some iron production happening. Uh, we don't have any modules or anything on these yet, so it's just straight up mining. Nothing fancy, nothing special. But we can see all of these going, starting to crank out. We got iron being produced. Uh, we do have some getting to the end of the line, into the line, into the line. And it's backing up. Good. Uh, we'll see if this gets to the end of the line. Because it does take three seconds to produce a piece of iron. So it should have enough to get to the end of the line. And, yep, it's moving some in, moving some in. Boy, some of these are, these things are awfully slow. Oh, it's low power, that's why, okay. <laughs> uh, go figure, low power. Look at, oh gosh, that's awesome. Look how slow these things are moving. They're like, err. They still got the sound of going fast, but look how slow that is. It's like, ugh, I don't think, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I can't, there's no more power. So, all right, so we're definitely gonna work on our power situation. I need to go fix that power pole. Uh, at the same time, I think I need to figure out what we're gonna do next with train. I need to put down some more power. So I think I'm gonna add a few more solar panel sections. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna kind of maybe see what I can get to fit in this little area that I'm not going to plan on building anything in. Uh, so that way it can add to our overall mass because uh, we're going to do that. And like I said, so and from a, a planning perspective, uh, we got the iron trains just about hooked up and ready. We got to come over here. We're going to get our fluid trains hooked up. And then I want to set up a, a way for a create a station that's going to be support us and we're going to I want to plan to build oil like right in here we got access to water which we need so I want to set up some oil processing here and then uh, get that hooked into our wall and we need to get this coal so we're going to have to get up here we're going to break a line on this wall here we'll harvest that and uh, create some walls here and maybe take this up here instead and over that way and kind of close off some of this gap uh, maybe have to take out this biter nest and that biter nest um, just to keep us on the straight and narrow and it looks like a couple here are starting to move in a little closer we might need to do something about them too uh, but we don't have pollution going that way so they're a little slower to grow and so once we get that then we need to start getting some production done because our starter base is uh, it's dying. It's just not producing hardly anything. We, we have some iron, but uh, we need some copper. We do have some down here, um, and we could go get that and start bringing it up. But, uh, yeah, there's just a lot to do. So, But we're going to start trying to build up in here to start getting that going. So we'll continue on uh, and see how things go. So if you've actually sat through all of this, I do appreciate it. Uh, you know, if you can subscribe, if you haven't, uh, and we'll come back next time as we start working on getting some more of our infrastructure set up so we can start building some things and uh, get stuff moving along towards our mega base. So thanks for watching and good night.